I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. You don't look like a fireman, son. Looks like the same model. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. All the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. <sighs> Mind if we move things along a little, detective? Boondockers, they ain't. distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, 
now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. I got friends who work at the examiner. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Blades in the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? You're falling behind, Herschel. Keep your shirt on. Here I come. I think his name is Phelps.